Mike and such an Eric greeting here. <laughs> In such an Eric greeting here, and let's talk about hair. So since the end of 2020, I had quite a hair journey. I first shaved off all my hair, then I colored it green, then I wanted it to be turquoise, but it just turned another green, then I bleached it again, then I colored it turquoise actually, then I colored it dark blue, which washed out within a few days, so then I colored it split dye blue and black, which also turned turquoise again, as you can see. So um, I have quite a journey in a couple months and I'm honestly planning to color it even more but I was planning to shave it all off yet again however then I had the thought why not try something entirely new yet again so I'm now letting my hair grow out and honestly what better to use for that than a brand new hair product that is technically catered to me. All right so today my order of function of lemon arrived and I'm really excited to open it even though I already know what's in it. So let's just do that. I am honestly unsure. Oh, I didn't even need a knife. That might not have been where you opened the box. That is very likely not where you opened the box. Okay. So I basically got a big bottle of shampoo. For some reason I always expected them to be glass, but this is Function of Lemon. It has a really cool color, like I honestly I love this color. And then I got a small conditioner because I don't use conditioner too often. I don't think that's something you should use too much with my hair type. The hair goals I selected for my order were color protection, especially since I color my hair like all the freaking time. Lengthen, because overall I just want to grow my hair out right now. Soof scalp, because I have a massive issue with my scalp ever since the second time I bleached my hair. Straighten, because I'm not the biggest fan of my curls and they're starting to get curly at the back already and they're not even, like there's no length in it and they're already getting curly. And then volumize. I'm not sure why I picked that and I feel like that works against the straighten, but I picked it anyway. The scent I picked for both of them was mango, because that sounds Delicious. Why would you want to have your hair smell the... Whatever. <laughs> and then I also got this because I, I found a coupon code where I got like $20 off, but I was too low on the total price. So I got myself a hair towel. Oh my god. This is a very, very, very nice towel. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know yet. I haven't used it yet, maybe it doesn't take up water at all, but like... This will also very soon not look white anymore because I'm gonna color my hair and then use this. They did send two pumps, I still have to figure out how to... I feel very dumb right now. I never had to assemble pumps, but like... I will look that up on the internet, I don't want to break the pumps before even using this. This is like 16 ounces, this is 8 ounces, so they're supposed to last for quite a while. Now, I still have other shampoo that I want to use up, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna start using these, probably after the next hair coloring I'm doing. And this video will be probably taking course over a longer period of time, just not with two regular, you know, reports, because I think it will need time to have an effect and to make me able to make comments on it. We'll talk soon about this again, I guess. All right, so today I used Function of Beauty for the first time. And I probably can't really speak on its effects much yet because, you know, one-time usage won't really change much. But I like how my hair feels like. I like the texture. Just not sure how different it is from usually. Uh, it didn't destroy more of the color my usual shampoo would, but I'm not sure if I can call it protective yet. Like, my hair is still pretty purple, but again, that was the first wash with shampoo, so... That probably doesn't mean much. It has been really tame because my hair at the length it's currently at usually goes into five directions and that's the biggest issue I have with my hair, which again I was hoping that Function of Beauty could help with that. And today it really doesn't have these issues, but again conditioner usually does that in general, which I also only use max once per week because conditioner also makes my hair kind of odd. So again I'm not sure if I can attribute that to Function of Beauty or just to the fact that I used the conditioner today as well. Uh, I will report back in a couple of days when I can probably speak more proper on, you know, 
the actual effects. So let's see about that. All right, so it's been a couple more days, a couple more washes, and I have some more thoughts on Function of Beauty so far. The hair is definitely getting lighter, but I really have no idea if it's getting lighter faster or, you know, slower than with regular shampoo. I really, at this point, have the feeling that there's no real color protection. There's just less aggressive shampoo, and this one might be less aggressive, so, you know. I feel like the color stays in longer. One thing that came to my mind yesterday was the fact that I have a lot less issues with dandruff. I feel like the Soof Sculpt one might help with that. I also definitely like my hair structure. Still can't say it's really straightening yet, but that might be a long-term effect, so we will speak on that once the time comes. Alright, so we are a couple weeks in with Function of Beauty at this point. And so far, I definitely do like it. But I still haven't made any new, you know, experiences as opposed to what I said before. I definitely like the texture my hair has now. It's very soft, especially after the last two days of washing it with it. I have only used a quarter of the shampoo so far and less than a quarter of the conditioner. Granted, I don't use conditioner often, like maybe twice to three times a month. I did lose the hair color within like three and a half weeks, since you can see it's now very blue with like tiny dots of purple. I'm not even sure where I'm pointing at. I'm not sure if I can say it color protected it, but for directions that's a very long time, so it at least wasn't as aggressive as, you know, aggressive shampoos would be. So that's a plus. I definitely did have some dandruff and some itchiness on my head after saying that it didn't cause that, but I also am in quite a bit of university stress, so it could also be that. It could also be the changing temperatures right now, which are terrible yet again. So I'm not 100% sure about that. So far, it still seems to soothe my scalp most of the time. So that's a plus. Speaking about a scent, because I don't think I've done that yet, the shampoo itself doesn't really have a strong scent, even though I chose strong, so I'm kind of disappointed about that, because, you know, I like to have shampoos and shower gels that smell so much that I have the scent on me for a while. And then the conditioner just smells chemical. Like, there's literally no scent in there. I'm not sure if the conditioner is not meant to have any scent. But otherwise, the shampoo still seems fine. I absolutely wouldn't be able to tell if my hair grows faster What's it called? If it's any more straightened, also if it's more voluminized, and again I feel like those two things cancel out each other, but also I have like this going on, and I'm not sure if it's caused by the shampoo. It's been a while since I really grew out my hair. Like I never had a bus cut before the bus cut I had, but I also always kept it pretty short, so this would be the time I already would have gone to the barber like maybe a couple weeks ago. So this is all like a new experience in that sense, and I might be judgy over things that my hair does, which have no bearing on the shampoo, which the shampoo has no bearing on. Wait, how do you say it? What is English? I have no idea. Um, but anyway, that's my thoughts for now. I'm going to come back in a couple days to weeks after using more of it. This will be very long winded. And I will probably repeat myself like five times. I hope no one minds that, because I probably already did that. Okay, so first of all, I gotta say I really freaking love this towel. It's very soft, it's very nice to clean your hair with. I was gonna say I ruined this with my latest hair dye because I accidentally touched it with my head. However, this actually kind of looks like art. I'm not sure how well you're seeing this, but this actually looks kind of cool. Other than that, currently my hair is doing pretty good again. It's not as messy as it was, but then again, that could be attributed to hair growth, also, this isn't an effect it usually has after I dye it, so I'm not sure if there's something in the hair dye that actually makes it more straight. Back when I did my other hair dyeing jobs, I always had some mistakes made, like for example, washing it with shampoo the day I colored it, or washing it warm all the time, which definitely made color fade a lot quicker in the past. And the last time it did hold like three, three and a half weeks until it started to fade out into blue again. But therefore, I'm not sure, again, if the shampoo is more color protective because I made so many mistakes in the past that I don't make anymore. The shampoo might be a part of it, but I guess we'll never know, which is unfortunate for the kind of video I'm making. So, as you can probably tell, we bleached my hair today. And the thing is, like, 
structure wise it really seems a bit candy flossy to me i'm not sure if that makes sense like especially this part but also this part of my hair is constantly being fluffy so i'm not even sure if it even got worse or if i'm just imagining that now i used function of beauty on it which i'm not sure if that was the best idea because i don't think it's like especially with my goals necessarily the kind of shampoo that you know gives you the best care after bleach but I also, first of all, don't really have other shampoo in my house right now. And I also feel like if I do this multiple months long test of Function of Beauty, I should not use any other hair product in between. Except the bleach. Did I ruin the test with that? I don't... I mean, I colored my hair. Yeah, I'll report back in a couple of days when I washed it a few more times to see how it will react over time. I'm also like around a fourth of the bottle. So we're really nearing the end of this video. I still have a lot of the conditioner, but because the conditioner makes my scalp burn, I'm dumb. I used it like on the entirety of my hair, which apparently you're not supposed to do with conditioner. I don't even know why I got the conditioner and shampoo set. Should have looked into that. I think I only need a shampoo. Alright, so after weeks and weeks of using the product, I finally got to the end of my Function of Beauty bottle. I'm also going to be gone for a month, and the little bit I have left I won't take with me, especially because I have to change to a different product anyways. So I didn't really think it would have made sense to, you know, do my last words on this in like four days while I'm somewhere in the middle of nowhere on the road. So this is just the best spot. Overall... I'm not even exactly sure what I think about it. Like, I'm not unhappy with it, but I'm also not happier than with other hair care products I had. And I am just very glad that this was paid for me by Patreon, because I wouldn't want to have to sit on that bill. This is still extremely pricey. And logically, you probably have to use it very long term to see, you know, if it actually works for you. Because like one bottle, I don't know how long this was, six or eight weeks or something like that. Have I been using this for over three months? I'm not exactly sure when I started using it anymore. But it's been a long period of time. And I'm not sure if it's long enough to make an overall statement to say if it's working for me or not. But again, because I picked so hard to tell goals, I'm not sure if I would ever be able to tell if it worked. Like for example, again, color protection. Would be very hard to tell if I haven't used the exact same colors with different shampoos before and would compare to now. But since I switch my colors all the time, it doesn't work because even from the same brand, a red or a purple or a blue are gonna stay differently. So that's not really helpful there. Lengthen. Let's be honest, no shampoo is gonna help with actual growth. It can nourish your roots and make growth a bit easier, but there's never gonna be a mysterious super growth in your hair. That's just not how hair products work. I also wasn't disillusioned by that. I didn't expect that to be a thing, even though I would have wished that, but then my hair would be a bit longer than where it is right now. So I don't really think it did much, but I'm not sure. As for the other goals, again, most of the time, my scalp wasn't as irritated as it sometimes is. I had a couple of days here and there where it was very irritated. But the past few weeks again have been very calm, so I think overall it definitely did help with that. I have to give it that. Still like 60 euros for three months is 20 euros per month. And for my regular shampoo, I pay like two or three euros. I'm not going to pay like up to 10 times the price for the shampoo being catered to me if there's no proof for the supposed effects to be actually working. I'm also, I'm not sure if I stated this before, but I'm kind of worried about a conditioner. Because besides the fact that it didn't have the fragrance, it actually smells really chemical. And whenever I used the shampoo first and then the conditioner, it destroyed the whole fragrance the shampoo had, because then my hair just smelled chemical. And additionally, the conditioner burns on my scalp. Like on my entire head, everywhere. And I'm not, I haven't used conditioner much before. I know conditioner is more for long hair things, so I probably shouldn't use it in all of my hair. So that could be on me. But at the same time, I don't think it should burn. 
So I'm wondering if something went wrong with that particular bottle. Like it could also be that I'm allergic to something that I don't know of. But something could have also been wrong because that would explain why there's a chemical fragrance in it that should also not be there. So I'm very suspicious of the conditioner. I don't know what happened there. I don't care enough to contact customer service and get a replacement or whatever. I don't... It's fine. It's fine. It's probably mostly fine because this was paid by Patreon. Otherwise, I would not be so chill about this. But it's fine. <laughs> I feel like if you can afford this product and you haven't tried it yet, go for it. Again, if you can afford it. Don't buy it because somebody makes you fancy promises if you're not having the money for that. Please don't. But if you do, whatever. Go live your best life. And also, if you are continuously using it and you're happy with it, I'm glad about that. Also, leave that in the comments. I would love to hear some experiences. Like, do you love it? Do you hate it? What's your experience with it? Please tell me about it. Because I remember when I told people that I was going to buy it, some people came around telling me that people lost their hair over it. Which didn't happen to me. I don't think my hair loss has increased. Or at least not significantly. But yeah... I'm not sure how cohesive I've been. It's 5 a.m. I don't know why I keep filming these things at 5 a.m. It's got, it's bad. It's, it's just bad. But yeah, it was an interesting experience. I also didn't mind not having to go buy a new shampoo for a couple of months. So that was chill. But I'm also looking forward to just try out new shampoos and see what else I can find to soothe my scalp that doesn't have a $70 pr price tag on it. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I'm not even sure how long this video turned out to be because I sat down to film for this so many times, but I also feel like I keep saying the same thing every time. So there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff I had cut out out of this video. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Comment down below anything you wanna comment down below. And if you like videos like this one or travel vlogs, candy tastings, hauls, unboxings, urban exploring, cooking videos, social commentary. Honestly, I don't even know what genres I'm doing at this point anymore. I would just advise you to go check out the rest of my channel, see if there's more content you'd enjoy, and if there is, maybe subscribe and stay up to date with everything I'm going to do in the future. Until then, hopefully see you next time. Bye!